Well, when the hurricanes hit Florida earlier this year, they caused, of course, a lot of damage. And while many people on the first coast turned to family and friends to clean up, one family got a surprise from 3,000 miles away. First Coast News anchor Mark Spain has their story. Who can forget this year's hurricanes, one right after the other? This one brought considerable damage, especially to the May family of Ponte Vedra. That was what was left. In an instant, Francis flattened the family's weeks-old treehouse. One of our guys said, hey, why don't we give those guys a treehouse? And we just kind of laughed and thought it was kind of funny, but then it sunk in. A new treehouse arrived today. Oh, it's unbelievable. We're just thrilled, so excited. And um, we're just looking forward to playing in it when they get it finished. But this new house didn't come from some retailer around the corner. This is from the opposite side of America. No, we didn't have an earth, uh, a hurricane, but we had an earthquake. And uh, I know what it's like to go through some major disasters where your life gets turned upside down. Or in this case, blown over. A high-end California treehouse builder donated this to the family. When the May children are growing up adults and they're sitting and, and, and they're in their careers and, and they're thinking back of their childhood, I think one of their fond memories is going to be of the treehouse, the coolest treehouse a kid ever had. It's already the PlayStation in the neighborhood. So we're going to have quite a few kids over, but that'll be fun. We want to share it with everybody. Disaster turned dream house. Merry Christmas from Earthquakeville to Hurricaneville. From Ponte Vedra. When I spend night in the air. Mark Spain, First Coast News. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Well, the Mays have two children. Daniels Woodland in California donated that treehouse. Thanks for watching First Coast News at 530 this Friday. Jeannie and Don are up next.